Hey everyone, I'm here in Cumming, Georgia at the Sony View Memorial Gardens and I'm here to check out the grave of the victims of a pretty horrific crime that occurred here in 1993 under the hand of David Wright. Now in February of 1993, 17 year old high school student David Wright decided to skip school to go to target practice with a friend. As he left target practice, his 11 year old half brother was coming home from school and they got into an argument over, I believe, chewing tobacco. David used the gun that he took to target practice on his 11 year old half brother and shot and killed him. As the day went on, his dad was coming home from work. He shot and killed his dad, most likely um, out of fear of how his dad would react to seeing his brother uh, dead and also trying to avoid um, any kind of consequences of killing his brother. His mom then came home and he shot and killed his mom, most likely for the same reasons. David then led a chase with the Forsyth County Sheriff's Department and he was arrested after he crashed the vehicle. Now we're gonna go over here and take a look at the graves of Brenda Wright, who was his mom, uh, George Wright, who was his dad, and Gregory Wright, who was his 11-year-old half-brother. So follow me. Here we are at the Sony View Memorial Garden, and right over here will be the grave of David's parents. His brother is buried um, in a row over. They're not right next to one another, but they are right on top of each other. So we're gonna go over here and take a look at the grave of his parents first. Now I do believe with um, George being his half-brother, um, it's possible that his, um, I say dad or mom was his step-parent. And right here is the grave of Brenda Gale Wright. You can see they all passed away on February 10th, 1993. Right here is the grave of George Stewart Wright, who also passed away on February 10th, 1993. And right here is the grave of Gregory, or Greg Wright, who was just, just at 11 years old when he passed away, February 10th, 1993. And right here you can see that they are right on top of one another. This grave was one of the more difficult graves to find. Um, luckily, I do see that Find a Grave has put on like a GPS where you can look up the names and it'll give you uh, a more accurate description of where they are rather than reading the description of the graves because sometimes those graves don't give you the GPS location. And this grave's gonna be found right here, right next to this um, little mini mausoleum where they store uh, ashes, uh, right next to this sidewalk. And it's gonna line up perfect with the cross and the uh, larger mausoleum in the back. Now, as I've come to realize, there's actually quite a bit of murders that have occurred in Cumming, Georgia uh, and Forsyth County. Um, this is one that was, I just kind of came across uh, by accident, but it is a, a pretty horrific crime, a uh, son killing his basically entire family. As far as what happened that day, um, I believe that he had a friend over and when David killed his brother or shot at his brother, um, that's when his friend ran off. Um, they live in a pretty rural area um, and Forsyth County alone, hearing gunshots is not 
um, a big reason to call the police. Um, I do believe that his friend did go on trial for the murder, having not necessarily something to do with it, but uh, maybe having knowledge that he was thinking about hurting his little brother. Um, I didn't read too much on the case of his friend. Couldn't really find what David was uh, sentenced to. Um, this being Georgia, possibly uh, the death penalty, but 100% he was charged with life in prison being 17 years old. Uh, they will try you as an adult here in Georgia and in most other states. Um, if you know what his sentence was, please leave a comment in the comment section. Um, I want to thank everyone for watching this video. Um, if there's any other places you want to see me visit, like I said, leave a comment in the comment section. For now, thanks for watching everyone.